Here's the outer skin in my 2015 team boat, with all the seams and everything lined up ready to glue. You can see here that my second boat is well underway. This is the cockpit section, which is upside down at the moment. What I want to show you here are these honeycomb sections that I've cut. A uh, slot together jig on my table saw, and I gang ripped these uh, at three inch on center intervals. Now, uh, one thing I tried to do the other day, which did not work, was I tried to cut these uh, one at a time. These are simply too flimsy, and they bend. Uh, this piece is eight feet long, so when you're trying to rip these pieces here, uh, you've got eight feet hanging off of either end, and it wants to just bend and buckle in every direction possible. So I loosely taped them together. Uh, the tape, of course, uh, is doubled over so it doesn't touch the cardboard, because I don't want it to peel away when I take the tape off but it's just I just made a loop that doesn't stick but it holds everything together and then essentially gives me what is amounts to almost a 2 by 4 here uh, to go ahead and cut which makes it much much easier to do I've got all my long pieces laid out here and now I'm just tilting them up and holding them in place with this one cross piece here down the center of the boat I'll go back then next and fill in all the other pieces, but this will keep everything aligned nicely and keep it set up. I'll go ahead and put in my next cross piece and just work my way down. Okay, I've got the carpet protected. I've got my grid laid down here on my trash bags. Now I have taped a string uh, at each end of the center line down the middle here. This is going to allow me to make sure that my grid here is straight before I glue it up, because we definitely don't want it crooked. You can see out there in the middle, in this section here, that it needs some adjustment, and it needs some adjustment right down there as well. So I'm going to go do that. This is the biggest uh, honeycomb grid that I've ever done. And now I'm going to carefully pick up the cockpit section and try to lay it on top of my glued grid here. Being sure to get everything lined up, it's pretty tricky. But I've got some reference marks that I made to help me get everything aligned. But even if it's not exactly perfect, that's going to be okay. You can see here that I've got pretty much anything that weighs anything inside my boat. All of my books are in there. They're holding it down because I needed a lot of pressure to make sure that this thing stays flat while it dries. I've even got my old uh, foam cutting table in there. So what I'm going to do now is take all these books out, flip it over, uh, inspect it, check it, um, and then I'm going to take the bottom and put it on. Now I'll just flip it over here and take a look at the bottom now that it's all dried up. I couldn't fit the camera in the office with this so I had to shoot through the glass. That worked out fairly well, but what I'm going to do is go around and beef it up in a few areas with a little additional glue because a few of the connections aren't quite as solid as, as I would like. Now the reason for that, of course, is you saw me run glue into the perforation, into the corrugations, but then I had to leave it in that direction. Normally you would run the glue into the corrugations, flip it over, and let the glue then drip back out of the corrugations onto the cardboard. Well, I wasn't able to do that, so the connections are not quite as strong as I would like. So what I'm going to do right now is run some glue down inside there real quick in a few areas just to beef it up a little bit. Well, now I'm getting ready 
to put the bottom skins on my boat here. I've got a couple options and a couple problems. I can only put these three center skins in place because if I go ahead and put the next skin on, well, it won't fit in my office anymore. I'm going to have exactly the same glue problem that I just had in that I can't really lay my glue on this because I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, these aren't entirely straight. I don't want to waste glue. Um, I could, though, go ahead, I've done it before, is make a grid on here and then put my glue on my grid. What I'm going to end up doing, though, is just gluing directly here onto my honeycomb and then uh, putting this piece on top. The other issue I have is I need to couple this to this. Normally, I would build a four or six inch strip of cardboard, glue them together, and then put it down. Well, this honeycomb, of course, is flat. I have to cut out a section of each of these honeycombs all the way across in order to allow for the thickness of cardboard to sit down inside there uh, nice and neat. I'm seriously considering just running a strip of duct tape on the back side because uh, duct taping seems is legal. You would never see it. It'd be on the inside. I wouldn't be able to glue that portion though to the honeycomb because nothing sticks to the duct tape. Um, I'm also not sure about its strength. Of course I will uh, pump construction adhesive inside my seam afterwards, which I'm completely confident in. But when the weather starts to heat up, uh, duct tape will lose its grip and that could cause everything to slip apart. I know for absolute certainty that my wood glue will not let go, and I know that construction adhesive won't let go either. So I'm debating on that. It'll certainly be a lot quicker just to run a strip of duct tape across and glue this thing down. Because cutting out the sections, uh, gluing in my strip, waiting for it to dry could take some time. So let me think about that for a little bit. Now you can see I've got all of my uh, honeycomb trimmed so that it matches the contour of the cockpit section. Now I'm going to lay it down and glue it in place. Now I've got the position marked uh, for all my honeycomb sections down here along the bottom. So what I'm going to do is flip the boat over, apply the glue to the honeycomb, flip it back over, weigh it down, and let it set overnight. If you remember when I glued the honeycomb the first time, I had everything facing down. The honeycomb was sitting like this. I shot my glue into the corrugations and then just put my skin on top. Well, the problem with doing that is gravity isn't in your favor. All the glue is trying to go down into the corrugations and none of it's trying to go up and contact the skin, which is not exactly what you want. So what I did for this surface was I shot the glue vertically down into the corrugations, then flipped the boat over so that now the glue is dripping back out of the corrugations onto my skin here on the floor. And of course I've got all my books uh, weighing it down to keep it nice and flat. But uh, in about six hours or so by lunchtime this ought to be nice and dry and then I can move on to the next section of the boat.